Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and Google is a company with a lot of money and a lot of ideas, and they often bring the two together to make awesome public projects that people like us can use. 20% time is a perfect example of that. Google gives their employees 20% of their time to work on personal projects, and they continue to get paid for it. But there is a secret division at Google, and one that we rarely actually see public projects from. They work on the most advanced, the most high-tech, and the most shoot-for-the-moon ideas of the whole entire company, and that is Google X. Now, Google X has maintained its secretive status in the company for a very long time. In fact, we don't know when exactly it began, and we don't know how long it's been a pretty big part of the company, but Google X is definitely a thing, but we don't really know all that many facts about Google X. In fact, most people working at Google might not know that many facts about Google X. But without any further ado, here are five facts, five true facts about Google's X. Number five is that it is a constant breeding ground for private and secret projects. Now, Google has plenty of public projects that we all already know about. The Android open source project, you may have heard of it. There are plenty of products that Google makes that you and I use every day. But there are up to a hundred projects being worked on underground at Google X all the time that none of us know about, including some people who actually work at Google. It's very secretive over there at Google. In fact, one employee described it as being run kind of like the CIA, where there are actually two locations, one in Mountain View, California, at Google's headquarters there, and another for robotics specifically in an undisclosed location. And Google has to be careful about how they talk about all these projects going on with Google X because of the investors. Investors don't want to hear that their money's being thrown into these crazy projects that could either be colossal failures or perhaps a revolutionary success. They really want to hear that their money is being thrown into surefire things. So these are very, very secretive for very important reasons to Google. So uh, don't share this video. They don't want you to hear uh, very much about Google X. Number four is that there are several main projects that they're working on right now that they have outed as public. And you may have probably heard of these. The three main ones right now are Project Glass, Project Loon, and Google's self-driving cars. You've probably heard of Project Glass and perhaps even Google's self-driving cars if you've been following my channel or any Google-related stuff for more than a day or so. But Project Loon is one that's recently surfaced where they're planning on deploying millions of balloons all over the world above the stratosphere, above the weather, and above where planes fly to provide instant access internet all around the world. And they sort of ride the currents of the winds that go up thousands of miles above the earth, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, that's where we're gonna find uh, new Google stuff above our atmosphere, apparently. That's where they're working next. Number three, space elevators. Now this is a concept that's mainly been in science fiction, as far as we know, for a long time, but apparently, Google has actually been working on something along the same lines with Google X. Now, space elevators, for those of you who are, are picturing an actual elevator to space in your head, it's basically the idea of being able to transport data and sometimes materials and maybe even people to space without the use of a rocket. That's the main conceptual skeleton of what a space elevator is. So that could involve just a cable that's attached to a satellite that happens to be connected to Earth. It's not a physical elevator. But surprisingly enough, Google's getting into this kind of stuff. They have a lot of people working at Google X, and you'd be surprised just how much in-depth research they can do. They have a ton of servers, a ton of computers, a ton of information, and they're able to apparently go into the uh, astronomy field with this whole Google X thing. Number two is that Google does hire people into the company, specifically into Google X. Some notables are Johnny Chung Lee, a specialist in human computer interaction who came to Google X from Microsoft in 2011. Sebastian Thrun, one of the world's top robotics and artificial intelligence experts who worked on a driverless car before he came to Google, and Andrew Ung, a specialist in applying neuroscience to artificial intelligence, which is teaching robots and machines to operate like people. And even more, people have come from Microsoft and Nokia Labs and all sorts of other uh, universities, in fact, like Carnegie Mellon and MIT and Stanford and research-heavy institutions like that. So people are hiring into Google X. It is growing just like Google's growing and is very important even if it is very behind the scenes. And number one is the Neural Network Project. This is serious stuff, believe it or not. So apparently a group of researchers at Google X were working for a couple of years now with a group of computers, a large group of computers, mind you, to essentially simulate the human brain meaning it teaches itself. The network is made up of 16,000 CPUs, and more recently, it sorted through 10 million frames of YouTube videos of cats to eventually learn what a cat is. And it actually came up with a picture 
of what it thinks a cat is all by itself. This type of computer learning is pretty crazy, but it's actually the first step towards actual useful artificial intelligence. A lot of people believe that the next paradigm after you know Google got to search first, the next paradigm would be artificial intelligence, and we've actually kind of seen sort of hints and glances at that. There's actually a Google Chrome extension which allows you to right-click on an image and Google search it, and it will do a reverse Google image search of what it recognizes in that image and tell you what it's seeing in that picture. So a lot of the things at Google X, even though they're very, very secret and underground, little parts of it will leak out. We don't really know where they're coming from, but they're definitely coming from Google. Uh, as we can see, they're being implemented in a ton of Google services. So there you go, that's, that's Google X. It's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, and go ahead and leave a comment below. What do you think is going to be next out of Google X? What do you think Google X is going to come up with and at least make public next? Either way, thanks for watching. This has been a quick, short, fun video. But if you enjoy, definitely hit that thumbs up button below. And I will talk to you guys in the very next video. Peace.